The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German. Alongside me, as usual, I didn't say Scooter McFuckstick because I'm not as cool to have that nickname anymore. Mm, no, you've never yeah. been cool. I know. Uh, but alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians first. I'm going to introduce Derek first. He is the 2021 funniest person of uh, in Wichita, Kansas, none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> How many years are we going to keep that going? I, uh, and, until, I don't, I don't know. You can keep the title until your death. <laughs> That's right. Man. That's going to be on your gravestone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but an actual excellent stand-up comedian who's <laughs> yeah, traveling. the real one. The real one who's actually on the road and doing excellent major big things, none other than Mike Baldwin. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, I'm kind of glad that soundboard is broken. <laughs> what, what do you mean? It didn't work when you pushed a little sound effect. Oh, yeah, it did. Did it? Yeah. Uh, I'm just, just glad we have the whole audience of people here that cheer for me when uh, you say my name. I you know, know. It's great. Uh, but anyways, guys, this is the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine. I don't care. But this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend a shitload of people. So if that's not your thing you're in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. All right. And, we, we, sh- and we show our wieners. We do show our wieners on occasion. There's going to be wieners all over wieners, on this one. Wieners and yeah, wine. There's I'm, one. <laughs> yeah. <What>? Yeah. <laughs> I don't see it. No, we'll CGI that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> good call that. Uh, but yeah, we've got uh, we've got a good episode. I've got some current events that we're going to talk about. Not necessarily all sports related, but some of them. Fucking Mike. <laughs> Mike's like what? Reminds me when I was a kid. I was like five, and I'd be starting to fall asleep in the passenger seat, and my dad would be like, "Look at that alligator just ran across the road." Like in Central Illinois, I'm like, "What? No!" And I'm like trying to stay awake. Like, I always just wieners with Mike. Like, look at that wiener that just ran across the I'm road. Like, I would know a wiener if I saw one, and by God, that is not a wiener. Of <laughs> Anyways, we got uh, we got some current events. We got overrated, underrated. What would you do? Questions and preguntas, and as always, a draft. And we always like to end up or in the show with the shitty situation. But before we get on to that, we're going to go over what happened to us over the last week slash weekend. Mike, for you, a couple weeks, and we're going to start with you. Our week week recap, Mike. What have you been up to, dog? Uh, let's see. What did I do? I went to Arizona. Have I been here since then? No. Uh, my sister lives in Arizona and I have two nieces. One of them made me this dope bracelet that says Mike is funny on it. Nice. And, uh, yeah, she's 14. And then I also have a nine or 10. I'm a dick uncle. She's (laughs) somewhere around that age. I got to see all of them and my brother-in-law and hang out a little bit. I also did some shows down there. Nice. Uh, JP's comedy club not the gay jp not the one that we know he's not gay no okay no oh yeah JP. no different jp okay completely. very good it's All one right. that lives in arizona and uh, is happily married and <laughs> quite religious and would probably be very disappointed in the other <laughs> jp that you know he would probably just shake his head and go that ain't right <laughs> But cool dude, cool club, and it was fun hanging out with my family. I haven't seen him in a few years, and wow. uh, and that was awesome. And then earlier this week, uh, Derek messaged me and was like, hey, Burrow, uh, you want to do the show Monday? And I was like, absolutely. Just uh, do me a favor. Remind me a couple of times between now and then. And he was like, will do. And then he sent me a message like Friday and was like, hey, you good for the show on Monday? And I was like, dude, I said I would be there. Why do you keep reminding? me and he wrote back like he was offended and he was like you told me to 
And I was like, oh, I know. I was just being cute. And then I hear nothing else from him until like 30 minutes after I'm supposed to be here today. And he's like, uh, hey, man, just making sure you're still coming. And I was just sitting in my chair watching Lost. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I had to jump up and like throw clothes on and rush over here and everything. And yeah, well, was, I'm glad you're clothed. That's, I mean, a, that's I, important. I really did for a split <laughs> second be like, could I just wear my robe on the show? Like they, <laughs> they might think it's cool, we but might. I was like, uh, I'm going to have to get dressed anyway and then bring the robe just to make sure. Right. Because I didn't want to show up in it and be like, hey, guys, is this OK? And you're like, what the hell, dude? As this, long as whenever you left, you're like. I'm just going to take this this microphone, and that's all I need. <laughs> this, and I need this. It's big enough. This microphone and this cup. Right. Is that the jerk? That's the jerk. It's yeah, been a I long time, dude, since that. I've seen that. And this ashtray. The microphone, the cup, and the ashtray. But you, you've been on the road a lot. Uh, it, it looks like I follow you on on TikTok and and now Twitter. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So so uh, it looks like you're constantly just on the road doing shows anymore. Uh, I mean, I, not as often as I would like, but yeah. yeah, still I'm I'm paying my bills. Yeah, uh, like on time the last couple months Fuck instead yeah. of like <laughs> three weeks after they're due. Yeah, and a few angry phone calls or whatever, but. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Washington state this weekend, uh, flying or driving. They're flying me. Fuck. Yeah. I, I only fly if they're like, we'll get your travel. Then I'm like, well, <laughs> hell yeah. It looks like Mikey's flying. <laughs> I only fly first class. <laughs> That's it. I've, I don't, I've never flown. I've never flown on an airline that offers first class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like sitting on, on row Z on my Southwest flight. Like, boy, those people in first class sure got it good. And they're like, there's no first class on Southwest. <laughs> <laughs> there, there technically always is first class, but they're like the fuckers that get to sit down first. But that's the only difference. They on just, Southwest, you mean? On any airline? Oh, yeah. They just they just seat them. No, first. I mean there's like actual first class really? where you get like comfy chairs oh, and you're more those. spread apart, and they like the the stewardesses will blow you and stuff. Oh, for sure, <laughs> absolutely. A anytime you want. That's part of their job description. <laughs> you're just like, can I get a hot towel and a blow job? Not in that order. <laughs> Where are you sitting? I'm going to need that hot towel to clean up the <laughs> mess from the book. All right. Yeah. <laughs> where, you, are you, where are you sitting, you coach? It. No. <laughs> Fuck no. Will you touch and, it? Yeah. And coach, you have to give the blow job. That's right. <laughs> to Mike. You're like, so, I'll have a hot towel and I'll suck your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your peanuts, sir. <laughs> oh, you got to go blow the guy in first class. <laughs> and then we'll give you peanuts to get the salty taste out of your mouth. <laughs> what is this, a joke? <laughs> All right. You want uh, a strufel? That's two blowjobs. Right. Uh, so you've been on the road a lot. Um, I know you've been uh, traveling a little bit with Steve Peters, a good friend of the show. He's been on here several times. Yeah, we did some Illinois stuff together. Have yeah. I not been here since then? I don't think since. Uh, yeah, maybe. I think he did. Or did I, just, I just chose not to talk about it because uh, I was just... like, nobody needs to know about that experience. <laughs> right. Now, the one story that sticks out in my mind, which has nothing to do with Steve because he was on stage doing very well because he's a very funny guy. Uh, I threw that in there. Very good job. I was out in the smoking section because I'm a dirty smoker. Right. And this place where the show was used to be like an old meat packing plant or something. So they had like this, it, it resembled a shower curtain, but it was like pool liner thickness, like mm -hmm. big, heavy plastic that they hung up to divide the smoking section from the rest of the, what they turned into a bar. So you could stand there and watch the comedy show still, but nobody could hear you or smell your smoke or whatever. Anyway, I was standing there talking to some dude who was, uh, it's blatantly gay, but doesn't matter. But it right. fits the story a little bit. Sure. And uh, he was like, so where are you from originally? And I was like, Missouri originally. And he was like, oh, yeah, they uh, or we were talking about weed somehow. And I was like, Missouri just passed the weed thing. Weed's legal now. And then that guy goes, yeah, well, hopefully they can uh, once they now that they've done that, hopefully they'll stop forcing 10 year olds to have abortions. Oh, or it, well, he said the opposite of that. Like yeah. they'll let they they'll stop making 10 year olds have babies or whatever and i was like all right <laughs> good to meet you dude i don't think anybody's doing that anywhere in america but but whatever so yeah that's what happened in illinois nice <laughs> Way to go. if that paints a picture of how the weekend was the first night was just like an old folks thing where they had 
first of all, never have a buffet and comedy oh, that's bad. near each other because people just eat so much and then they get full and they're tired and they don't want to watch comedy. Yeah. But this is exactly what they did. And there was so much gray hair in the audience. They hated everything that I had to say. Oh, that sucks. The only parts that they laughed at were the parts where I was like, you guys aren't laughing. <laughs> and they're like, ha ha, we sure aren't. <laughs> oh, God. It's like having a buffet at a strip club. You ever been to a strip club that has a buffet? I I wish that I could say no. <laughs> but yes, I have. And they were actually delicious tacos. <laughs> I'm sure they were. Were they pink? I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> okay, just, just saying. Um, uh, Derek, you want to go with your week? What's been going on with you? Not a lot. Man. I figured as much. Yeah, you, I, you came in blank. I mainly just watched a shitload of basketball. Yeah, and then uh, I got my Canadian citizenship. There you go. That's the one that, I was lo- I was looking for. Yeah, it came in the mail on uh, like Tuesday or Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. Derek uh, is so overly fucking excited. He had nobody to call. Nobody to call. And so he calls me, and I'm like, great. Congratulations. So does that mean you're not an American citizen? No, he's dual. I'm dual now. He's dueling citizenship. I'm binational. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, so if things work out right, then you'll never be allowed to run for Congress. Right. Sure. Because they're trying to pass that where you can't be dual citizens of awesome. something. Awesome. Yeah. It works for we me. do not need Derek in charge of anything for that matter. Yeah. And that's exactly why he should be. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> in my opinion. All right. Fine. Vote for me. Yeah. <laughs> for uh, whatever I'm yeah. going to run for. Right. I haven't announced my 2024 run yet. So okay. what? Do you want to move to Canada? Is that the thing? Or I, you just want to travel freely or what? Um, I think eventually the plan is to, yes. Um, how far down the road, I don't know. All right. But, and it's a nice, uh, if shit hits the fan, get the fuck out as quick as you can card. So that's nice. Yeah. I feel <laughs> so. like shit's going to hit the fan in Canada sooner than it's going to hit... <laughs> The it, fan in I tried the United to tell States. Him, but he didn't it listen. may very well. But you're like, hey, flip a coin, dude. Yeah, absolutely. I can cross the border anytime I want. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool, though, I guess. He's got, like, the exact opposite of what, like, the, the Hispanic Mexicans have for us. It's like he gets to jump across the border back and forth really quickly. And Freely nobody, now. Yeah, now yeah. nobody can do shit. I'm like, I got this piece of paper that says I can. <laughs> I even swore the oath written to King Charles on the back. There you so go. That was weird. Nah, That'd sure. be funny if you go to the southern border and try to get a <laughs> Cross, and you're like, it's okay, dual citizen. <laughs> and they're like, get in the fucking cage, you idiot. Any border. Yeah. Yeah, just any border. Anyone. No, it's okay. Dual citizen. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the That's one cool neat. thing that I can go do, which I think would be neat, is, uh, and my aunt has been a couple of times, um, if I actually go get a Canadian passport, I can travel and visit Cuba, which might be kind of cool. So It might be. Might be. <laughs> or you might get your head chopped off and <laughs> That's, ah, stuck on aunt, one of those little, what are those things my, that you stick heads on? My 60-year-old aunt Pikes. was just fine when she went. There was well, a dude so. that played for Cuba's baseball team that was like, nah. I don't think I want to go back home. I didn't say I was moving there. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, he, even he was like, fuck that. I'm staying here. Like, I enjoyed, no, thank you. I'm I enjoyed scared. Costa Rica, but I'm, I'm not moving to Costa Rica. Oh, fuck. I'm, I'm scared to go to any other country right now at this point. Yeah. yeah like, I'm the same way. I'm because I'm afraid they'll all have to like sit in a camp or something for a long time yeah. when I come back. You yeah, know? for sure. <laughs> I, that's what I'm more worried about. Yeah. Uh, not like something happening wherever I go. I've just heard so many stories of like, did you see that uh, World Series of Poker clip where uh-uh. the, where the guy was like, no, I didn't get, I haven't been vaccinated or anything like that, but I had to to come to this, and the guy was like, wait, where are you from? And like, you don't have to get vaxxed to do anything, and he was like, you do to travel into the United States. Yeah, like I, I don't know why that's still a rule. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that's going around that we can't talk about on this show because it'll get a little bit too. I don't know. Oh, are we? Because we're on YouTube. Yeah. Ah. Well, uh, I mean, that's not even it. It's just, you know, eh, fuck it. I, I'm with you, though. I think it's absolutely stupid. There are tennis players and shit like that that um, have had it multiple times. At this point, we've all pretty well I think all it. of us have had it, yeah. and, and I think everybody's kind of accepted the fact that natural immunity is better than the vaccine ever could have been. And Whoa, I think that's dude. A, that's don't. an accepted fact. I don't think now. you're allowed to say that. I don't think you are, but I did. Fuck all right. It. Sorry for bringing it up. Anyways. Let's, let's get back to dicks. And what What else? <laughs> there's one right there. Yeah, there's one right there. <laughs> how? <laughs> what, what else have you done? <laughs> let's see how good your CGI is. <laughs> this is what makes me have to work harder. Spend longer hours and editing 
Uh, but no, uh, what else have you been doing? Uh, is that it pretty much? That is pretty much it. Really? I went out, yeah. Uh, the wife and I went out on Saturday and ran into an old friend. And uh, I texted her and asked her what she was up to and after the K-State game and uh, told me where she was at. And I was like, well, we're thinking about going out for a little bit. And she was like, well, where do you want to meet? And I was like, I don't know. I don't really – not really feeling the O, not really feeling, you know, where I, we, we, we always hang out. And I was like, you know what, what about Waltz? And she's like, okay. So we go to Waltz, right when I walk in, there's karaoke. And I go up to the table where she's sitting at, and she goes, well, you ready to get the fuck out of here? I was like, I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. So we went to the place I always go to. So, yeah. yeah. I fucking hate karaoke. It's I the, fucking can't stand it's it. It's the worst thing on the face of the planet. It's whoever, terrible. Whoever invented that shit needs to be fucking crucified upside down but yeah. i want to high five them first because i like karaoke <laughs> Fuck that. i think it's fun i always sing headlines by drake and, yeah. then, <laughs> and then if there's black people in the audience i see them go <laughs> and i'm like hell yeah i know every word dude and i just mouth the n-word part because i'm not a, <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> you can uh-huh. do the tiktok thing where they just go yeah, exactly. Right? No, I just repeat whatever word was said before that. You know, <laughs> okay, fair. What if they say it twice in a row? Then I would say it four times. <laughs> <laughs> then I also uh, I've, I watched that documentary they released on Netflix. I don't know why, but I watched the Waco documentary. Oh uh, yeah, I, but I saw the show and it's pretty yeah, close. I saw the show. I was alive when it fucking happened. Yeah, so, like I remember all of it. I'm like, oh, I wonder what their take is on it. It's yeah. the same shit. Mm-hmm. What is it? Was were they evil people or was religious, the government bad? R- religious cult, and it's a toss up between. I mean, they're both. They're obviously crazy, but then the cops were also overstepping. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it crazy was, like illegal crazy or crazy like man that's I mean, kind of crazy kind of like wasn't it that the guy could only have sex with all of the all women, the other yeah. all the other women and he was yeah. fucking underage kids I think. yeah i think so too See, so that's, that's, yeah, the, that's the line yeah. yeah yeah but that wasn't the w- why they got the warrant <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah they didn't just, know about that until later yeah they just found out they were selling a bunch of guns at gun shows and they're like man yeah you better serve a warrant on this place so stupid. huh yeah yeah and then it turns out they had a shitload of fucking guns and grenades they but, sure did but yeah, it was a. Uh, it's watch the documentary. Yeah, it's pretty if good. You, if, if you really aren't sure and don't remember much of it, you should watch the documentary. or the show. I, I only like to watch uh, two documentaries at a time. One that says one point, and then one that says the exact opposite point. Okay, okay. Because then you get all of the facts, and you can you know weed out the bullshit. Yes, this okay. kind of does. So like pro has, North Korea documentary, anti North Korea uh-huh. documentary. Those are the best ones. They are some of the happiest people on earth. <laughs> if you ask them, hey, you're right. Yeah, uh, I got a question about They're that. Like later. fuck Disney, I want to go to North Korea. Right. Um, no, that documentary actually does have some of the, like the people that were in the house. Yeah, and then it has like a couple of the ATF guys, and they are very contrasting viewpoints. So you might actually like. It's interesting. I don't. I just don't trust Netflix. I've seen too many things on there where they're like, as we know, humans are causing climate change and destroying the earth. And yeah. I'm like, do we know that? <laughs> is that a hundred percent, or is that still kind of up in the air? No, creating the uh, batteries for your electric vehicles. That's what's killing it. I'm just kidding. Um, but is no, that we're going to be fine. Oh, yeah. Everything's fine. What about you? Anything else? That's it. That's it. Yeah. All right. Thank God. Cause I got a lot of shit. I, 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 um, I had a fucking phenomenal weekend. I, uh, I decided that I am going to quit drinking for a while last week. And so I invested heavily into alcohol free beer. Have mm-hmm. you seen that shit? I've heard of it. Now it's becoming like a cool thing for adults to do. No, and it, it's not. It is. They have. <laughs> they tell, even keep have telling bro- yourself that, like vaping. They, they have athletic <laughs> brewing company that comes out with like it's zero point five percent alcohol, so you have to drink like. 40 beers in two hours in order to get fucked up. That Not even like fucked they're up. challenging you. <laughs> right. And I was like, Watch all this. right, this will make it easy. And it's actually pretty good stuff. It has the exact same taste. I don't taste difference. And, and I'm, yeah, it's, it's just something to kind of wean myself off of it. But I did that. And then uh, I was in a golf scramble tournament, right? Tell us what that means. That means that you're on a team of four and you get to hit whoever hits the best shot. All four of you, you get, get to punch go. them. Huh? That's fucking sweet. Good shot, Greg. Yep, elbow straight to the fucking <laughs> face. Uh, but no, all four people get to uh, to get to you know play their shot. But whoever has the best shot, you pick that shot, and then you all four get to hit from there again. Uh-huh. And, and so it's just to make the best overall score, and it also speeds up the game. So it's it's actually really quick. And uh, myself and my buddy Bob were on a team. 
Uh, we hit the ball a long way, and the two guys that were on our team as well, they were more consistent but didn't hit it as far, and so we had a fucking like plan of action to have an excellent score. We ended up uh, playing one of the most difficult uh, courses uh, in the, the world. Wo- no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> the city of Wichita area. Oh, uh, that's smaller. And we were 20 under par. And that's, Which is fucking great, okay. For, especially for this course, we got third. There was another team that was like twenty three under par, another mm. team that was twenty one under par. And you it's can like, still remember the few holes that you're like, if that son if of a that bitch fucking had just thing done the dropped, thing, yeah, no, if it would have like putts and shit like that. But I was like really, really impressed. It was a really good time. Um, it, it was a beautiful fucking day. It was Saturday, so it was like seventy. It was like maybe like sixty five degrees throughout the day. No wind. It was beautiful. Right after the the golf uh, tournament, we ended up going over to Bob's house, and he ended up having a uh, crawfish boil. His wife is uh, a native of New Orleans, mm-hmm. so they have a huge thing that they do with crawfish and boil, and you know what it is. And it was pretty fucking great. It was awesome. How, I'm not a huge crawfish fan, but after doing this, it was fucking great. How much like shrimp is it? It's a lot. It was... It was a shitload. Do you have, you got to peel it oh, and yeah. all that stuff? Oh, yeah. And she, and, and, and she, after like the sixth one, you're like, well, I got this. Yeah. Pretty, I can uh, peel crawfish. 10 or 12. After 10 or 12 of them, you kind of get the hang of it, but it's. I it's, heard you were supposed to like rip the head off and just suck. You are supposed yeah. to rip the head off and suck it. I can't do that. It was like, oh, that's disgusting. You're never going to make it in coach. I'm not. <laughs> nope. Uh, but. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's too alive no, I'm for first, me. Yeah, I'm first class, man. Uh, no, it's it's really weird, and they're not like pretty animals. They're disgusting. They're miniature lobsters, you know, and so they kind of look weird as it is. But then, like you got the main thing is the tail meat, and it's like a miniature lobster, but it's like the size of a miniature shrimp, right? Okay. But the whole idea is get a shitload of craw uh, of crawfish. And that makes it a meal for 15 people, which that's how many people that were over at the house doing this whole ordeal. That's 3,000 crawfish. It's a shitload is what it is. Well, the whole thing is, is that we, all of a sudden in Kansas, the weather changes ridiculously quick. And so all of a sudden we had like storms moving in and we're outside uncovered and we're trying to peel all these crawfish because even if you don't eat all the crawfish, you need to have all the crawfish meat so you can put them in other shit, uh-huh. pastas and all this other stuff. So we're out like here freezing our fucking balls off, just going to town on these fucking crawfish to try to get all these meats in these little fucking boxes and all this stuff. And it took, it took every bit of three hours and I'm not going to lie to you. There is something about whenever you are soaking wet and cold and then whenever you finally get home and put on like dry, warm clothes, it's the best fucking feeling in the world. It's one of them. Oh, man. It's fucking cozy and you don't want to do shit the rest of the day. And it was fucking phenomenal. Yeah, that's how I felt today when oh, I yeah? got home Yeah, from <laughs> the things I had to do. And I was like, nothing to do rest of the night. <laughs> Let's start season four. I started Lost Over from the beginning. Have you? Uh, but you've seen it already? I have, I yes. actually really like that show. It's been like a decade, though, since I've seen any of it. And yeah. I randomly saw a, like a GIF or something. Is it GIF or yeah. GIF? Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter. Uh, but yeah, I saw that and I was like, hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll I'll watch w- episode one and then I'll skip to season five and finish it. And I watched episode one and I was like, well, I'm going to watch episode two. <laughs> and I've just <laughs> sat going. there and watched every one and I totally know what's going to happen, but I love it. Uh, it's I know I, it's a very addictive show. So, um, sorry for interrupting. No, your you're fine. Cool crawfish story. With I know, Mike. no, it's it's dumb. It's stupid. But the last thing that I actually really am excited about is if you don't, if you notice, I do not have my PS5 down in the studio anymore. I didn't didn't notice, notice that. that. No, I moved it up in the den, so now I actually have a place to go and play PS5. So all day Sunday, all I did was play video games. What did you play? I played uh, Ghost of Tsushima, which is like an, a samurai game, and then I moved on to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which has been out for over a year, and uh, I just still never beat it. So now I'm back onto that, and I'm I'm kind of pumped. I'm I'm ready to get back into it now that I have a place to go and just kind of lounge and play video games. But nice. And last but not least. I figured out a new term that uh, Derek may have already looked up in the uh, Urban Dictionary. Have you ever heard of what something's called? It's called iglooing? No, I don't know this one. Yeah, it's a new one for me. I, I saw a TikTok, and they were explaining what it is. But apparently, it's when somebody defecates into a condom, puts it into an ice chest. Oh, the free- Eskimo popsicle. <laughs> okay, well, I guess yeah. they call it something else. But anyways, they uh, put it in a condom, freeze it, and then use it as a dildo to fuck their ass. 
Do you leave it in the condom? <laughs> yes. Safety oh, I don't first. know. I don't. I'm assuming so. Safety I bet first. one guy didn't. <laughs> He just tried to just put it right back in there? Uh, he took the condom off after it was frozen and oh, was like, all God. right, I'm this, ready. This That's is... probably a pretty easy way for a fecal transplant. And then it just <laughs> slowly <laughs> melted as he was yeah. using it. And then it got sharp yeah. like a candy cane. And he was like, oh, can't do that. Got to bite the tip off. And That's the yeah. most disgusting you thing know, I've ever heard. It's one of them. The, the fact that they <laughs> missed the boat on that and called that igloo instead of a fudge sickle is beyond me. <laughs> yeah, I don't bad. know why we have to call it anything yeah. that's one of those things that it's like well yeah don't ever do that <laughs> and people are like i'm not gonna no yeah you, there are people out there that will i feel like they just do it as a joke uh no no i don't think like, when, some- like when i was at tara simmons party when i was a sophomore and me and my friend john baker decided to pee in our ice cube trays and <laughs> put them back in the freezer and then said nothing to anybody else about it and then like the next week at school she was just like somebody peed in my fucking ice trays and my mom found them <laughs> oh shit oh, the question is i made how up, did she find them i made up all the names just then but <laughs> okay. but the story itself was true um, and i don't know how she yeah. discovered them because i didn't want to be like how did she what happened <laughs> yeah. tell me the story because i know exactly how they got there <laughs> I was just like, oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> People are dicks. <laughs> Years ago, me and uh, I don't know if I've told this on the show or not, but my buddy, uh, we would go play basketball on Friday nights at this small town uh, about 30 minutes from where I lived at in Illinois. Every Friday we would play, um, and a dude that was like a pastor would pick us up because that was that's the guy that ran the little league or whatever, and it was like four on four, three on three, five on five, depending on how many people you had. And sometimes there'd be 15, 20 people there, so there'd only be two teams on the court at a time. The guy would pick us up from a gas station. We're dumb kids, with high school kids with, you know, 5, 10, 20 bucks in our pockets. Did so he have buying. a van that said free candy on it? <laughs> no. Okay. So uh, we would load up with fucking, like, Candy and drinks and all sorts of shit. Oh, they brought shit. the candy. They, <laughs> we brought our own hey, candy. Kid, you want yeah. some candy? Yeah. I have my own. <laughs> we brought it. We, we, can I get in the van anyway? That's uh, how you sure. fucking combat them. Yeah. You get your own candy. Um, so we get down there, and one of my buddies, Jason, would just fucking pound other people's drinks. Like me, Jason, Robert, and Michael would go, and Jason would just take my drink or Michael's drink, and we'd be on the court, and he'd suck down like half the fucking Mountain Dew or whatever that we were drinking. So there was one night uh, Mike decided he was going to pound this Mountain Dew while Jason was on the court, and then we all took it in the bathroom and peed in it and <laughs> filled it about halfway back up and uh, brought it, set it back down, and then we went and started playing. We were on. And uh, I remember dribbling down the court, and I glance over, and I see fucking Jason pick that cup up, <laughs> take a sip, look around, and then, like, did the cartoon gulp just up. <laughs> and we just bust even the fucking pastor started laughing like he knew what he was knew. going on he was like go ahead kids piss in your friend's <laughs> he, drink right? he had an idea because we're dying he starts giggling uh, i mean like, it's granted it's the same pastor that's like oh hey basketball players go ahead and grab a soda pop <laughs> <laughs> i feel like that alone is like bad coaching you know it is. i feel like it's not that much farther of a jump to be like and they peed in it too <laughs> but we weren't even going to church but it was just something to do on a friday and Keep he would, kids out of trouble he would do like some sermon that we would sit through for like 15 minutes in between and then we'd play another hour and a half and that'd be it man huh. Well, but all right. We didn't have cars, so he yeah. come pick us up. Well, that's that's our week week recap uh, for the week. So yeah, now we get to move on to the current events, uh, some sports we got to go over. Obviously, March Madness is coming to a close. We now have our final four. I do have to say, did everybody watch the K State game against Michigan State? Yes. No, no fantastic. I didn't. That was probably one of the best college basketball games I've seen at least in the last five years, maybe in the last ten. It was a fucking phenomenal game. I was really pulling for them to beat uh, Florida Atlantic. It did not fucking happen. They can't rebound. No, they can't. And Especially when it's when it's totally necessary in order for them to come back and go on a run. Didn't happen. 
Well, everything in transition, so. they would fucking turn over. They'd yeah. get a steal and then try and throw like a full court fucking pass and throw it out of bounds. I'm like, what are you yeah. doing? Slow down. So who's in the thing? For the very first time for the final four, there is not a one seed, two seed, or three seed left. This is the very first time. It's all four seeds and up. Hmm. So the other thing that I thought was really interesting was that uh, I think it was it wasn't Skip Bayless. It was a uh, uh, guy that has a similar last name, but Chip Bayless, Maley. Yeah, whatever. And uh, he said <laughs> one of the one of the NCAA sports commentators that are for college basketball basically said Jay Billis uh, said that uh, in the next five years we probably won't have March Madness because all of the blue bloods will end up getting all of the great players. Then it'll just basically be a power five conference. And when you have a final four that looks like this, I kind of want to say bullshit because this is a perfect example of that already being a thing. And it's the very first time that we don't have a blue blood in the, in the final four. What does blue blood mean? That would be like your Kentucky KU, uh, North Duke, Carolina. North Carolina. The reason why I call them blue is the major bull school. Yeah. And that's, that is a blue blood. But, but why not. are they not in it? Are they just not good enough this no, year? They or? just got beat out by inferior teams. But uh, how can you say it's an, if I, if we fight each other and I kick the shit out of you, you didn't get beat by an inferior guy. You just got your ass kicked. Right. But if you did do that, then I would have to say that because you're an inferior guy i would gladly let you beat the shit out of me Mike, <laughs> if you would like to but i mean like you how are you inferior if you win uh because i mean just overall talent talent skill and things like that these guys basically are just fundamentally good these teams that are that are winning games are just getting hot at the right time and the teams that are really really good are just getting cold sometimes too you play down to your competition that's true as well so yeah. that happens so like if you've ever noticed like whenever we're on stage together you don't have as good of a set because i suck yeah 100 <laughs> percent. so i play down to you yeah you're Correct. just like yeah well if he fucking did that i guess i'll just do this shit you know when you put it that way it makes perfect sense <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'll still argue that point. It's like whoever wins that day is the better team that day. I agree. Yeah, they're going to win 99 out of 100 times. But yeah, but that, that, was that one, one time, time yeah. Uh, but, so, a, but those 99 out of, out of 100 times happened several times in this March Madness, apparently. Uh, but yes. Enough. Enough times to piss a lot of people off. I don't know if there's a perfect bracket out there. But oh, no, there's not. There, there can't be. Uh, but UConn the, should win this. I think you're right. I think um, UConn right now is at least the hottest team in at the out of what's left because you got a number nine, which is Florida Atlantic University, a number five, which is San Diego State, number four UConn, and all, a number five Miami. All those teams are hot. However, UConn's the only one that's been beating the shit out of people by 20 points. A game. Exactly. Yeah, they they are probably the most dominant. I did not, and I wanted to touch base on this because this is something that we talk about with officiating and stuff like that being a part of the game. Um, I wanted to point out the Creighton call at the very end of the game. Where they just said it's over? No, the Creighton call was they, they called a foul against oh, Creighton yeah. with 1.2 seconds left to go in the game. And a half a second on the shot clock or something. It was absolutely fucking ridiculous. I, I mean, if you look, if you watch the game, if let's say you watch the game with two minutes left to go in the game, right? There are at least two times where players got fucking mauled. No call. And then yet, whenever it's coming down to the wire... Where you kind of swallow your whistle. You need to put the whistle away. And it's a very, very light contact, which I don't even think really affected the shot. Like there, It, it was on, this, on his hip. It on wasn't his hip. on his arm. Yeah, exactly. Which is like, get the fuck out of here. And they, and they blow the whistle. The guy shoots two free throws, misses one, and that is how San Diego State wins the game. That needs to stop. Yeah, that really needs to stop. If you, if you been, call it consistently throughout the entire game, then I'm a little bit more okay with it. But the fact that you're watch, you're like literally letting two guys just hammer on each other and not call anything, and then with one second left, you you blow the whistle. That it's was bullshit. the NFL playoffs too. That's kind of what I'm saying, and I get what you're going on that, but it's not rigged. It's just a bad officiating call. No, I think that was a bad officiating call. Yes. Okay, no, it's not rigged. But you keep on saying that the NFL you, on the other hand, no, nah, it's too big of a risk. Uh, but yeah, I didn't like that one bit, uh, and I thought it was uh, it was good to 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 mention this. But ESPN really sucks now. 
They really, really suck. Because well, damn it, I bought all the channels. I, I know. <laughs> but here's the thing. Fuck. The ESPN analysts are basically supporting the official for making this call. Oh, but it's the right call. No, it's not the fucking right call. You haven't been calling it consistently throughout the entire game. But they have to, like, pad that referee for making that call. CBS was saying that, too. Yeah. I mean, I was watching the game, and they were like, yeah, that's the right call. Yeah, and fuck you. No. And everybody else knows it, and they're just trying to save face to try to protect these guys who made a bad call and that's and the people that actually come out and say no no that was a shitty call those are the people that are fired in the next week and now you get these guys that they just keep on cycling in that suck at their job you know i, I mean i hate to say it but Stuart scott was the best and he passed away from cancer but i think ever since that era of sports analysts after after we lost him i think it's all been shit after that I saw that it was like was it De'Aaron Fox or somebody in the NBA? Um, it said something about how you can't watch college basketball anymore because the officiating is just terrible. Probably that was before, I think before that game happened. But yeah, he said he can't sit down and watch an NBA or an NCAA game anymore. Yeah, because of the officiating. Yeah. Um, moving on, we're going to go a little bit to the NFL, and I figured um, Derek, you may have something to say about this. Uh, Lamar Jackson still has not signed with a team. Mm-hmm. A lot of people have been saying that he basically is Aaron Rodgering. The Ravens, because of his oh, is that Sorry. That, that boring? <laughs> no, nah, shit. Sports. I know. Uh, <laughs> hey, do you want to come on my sports podcast? <laughs> oh, we're, oh we're, Jesus! We're, we're getting you out of here about this two. again. I know. We'll we're, get through it. We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, but no, especially with Lamar Jackson, the huge contract that he has. Basically, I don't know if he has an opportunity to move because nobody contract. wants it. He, yeah, he didn't have a contract. They're gonna, they can franchise he's, him. He's a free agent. Yes, but he is going to demand a shitload of money, and yes. I don't think anybody else is going to put up the money to buy him. Eventually, he's going to go somewhere. He's going to have to, but he's going to have to cut his price. Yeah. He's too he's too injury prone. He's going to have to cut his price, but eventually he's going to end up somewhere. It's just like what Le'Veon Bell did and all that shit. Le'Veon Bell set out half the year it cost himself a shitload of money he too. did it did so so i'm interested to see what happens with that uh i did want to point out that the wichita wind surge opening day is coming up april the 11th that is a tuesday um tuesday tuesday uh but i thought it would be kind of cool because we, we already announced that if we have 25 friends mike i'm putting you on the spot mm-hmm. we have 25 tickets that i have already purchased to go to the game if we get all 25 people to go, Derek gets to announce Jeremy Joseph as the as throwing out the first pitch at a later game. Nice. As the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner. Uh-huh. We have permission, official permission. I just have to put 25 asses in the seats. So, all right. Well, I'll get on tender and uh, <laughs> okay. I'll try to get 23 23- <laughs> dates to go just we, start swiping to meet swiping. me there that night uh no we've got we've got about i think 12 12 are already spoken for and i think it's not going to be that hard but i really want to get like the group of us everybody who's been on the show if you if you do have time to be i know you're going to be you're a traveling comedian you're an actual comedian instead of Derek here so i, I figured i figured it, with your busy schedule if you can move that one out that would be kind of cool okay don't a- you, don't april you, 11th you april say. 11th i say yeah which also means that if you want to see us at a fucking baseball game if you're listening and you live in the Wichita area we'll all be there unless you're weird I I almost (laughs) wish that you hadn't said that because the only what I've learned about this is the only people that like communicate with me online Uh and and then show up at my shows are people that I wish wouldn't do either of those things (laughs) (laughs) you know like hey bro I'm coming I'll be there front row and I'm just like god like not only do I wish you weren't coming I wish that like you didn't tell me because now I have to talk to you but yeah come to the game (laughs) come see us I'm, I'm sure you're normal. They're just waiting on Mike like it's the it's, third inning, and he's like, hey, where are you at? <laughs> oh, you were supposed to <laughs> remind, remind me. <laughs> uh, I just need a reminder. I'm, I'm a pothead, dude. I don't. Yeah. I, I can tell you the phone number that I had when I was seven years old, but I can't tell you yeah. what, you know, yeah. I can't remember that I have to do something. Totally fine. Uh, I'm actually glad you reminded us of, like, listeners and fans because, actually, over the weekend, uh, if you guys remember, we actually got a wedding invitation. I think it was around, uh, I think it was around December or January. 
uh, for Heather and Jeff uh, in Placerville, California. They got married. Well, hopefully they got married over the weekend as long as, as, long as everything went smoothly. And I uh, wanted to give them a shout out because obviously uh, we do not think you're one of those creepy fans. We actually were really, really, uh, I don't know. Touched. Felt, yeah, touched by the invitation. They knew we couldn't make it. Scotty's been jacking off to that thing left and right. Yeah, buddy. Just gotta, the love. Yeah, you got a good looking mm-hmm. wife, man. Good for you. Yeah, I, I'm oh, the yeah, same way. Yeah, you that guy you jacked <laughs> off to his wife. I, he knows I didn't. Wow. No, he just jacks I, off to the love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that he like, has God, for that guy's they wife. They must He's love like, each other so much. Oh No, I jerk off on my wife. That's what I do. On her? That's, on her. All right. Yeah, that's it. That's love uh, right there. <laughs> and, anyways. Honey, uh, lay down. I got some shit to take care of. From her. That's her loving you. Right, and yeah. She's like, fine, he's, I he, love you. Yeah. He's looking at the invitation like, hey, just lay still for a minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Please witness our love. <laughs> oh, God. They even said love. Yeah. Oh. Uh, but yeah, so as we join families, yeah. Oh, so, I bet your mother in law's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but no, so anyways, uh, whenever that does happen, whenever we do have the 25 people come and we know what date that Jeremy Joseph is throwing out the first pitch, oh, believe me, we will make an announcement to make sure everybody that can be there uh, will have the opportunity to be there. So I'm excited about that. I'm pushing for 9-11. Uh, you damn right. <laughs> that would <laughs> perfect be day. perfect. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so and last, but, last but not least, this Thursday, so the day after this podcast airs, will be opening day for Major League Baseball. Those of you guys who have T-Mobile, be uh, on the lookout. Uh, T-Mobile Tuesdays would have already came out, and that is uh, free MLB uh, at bat, so you can watch all of the games that you want watching and stuff like that. But that's all sports. That's all I got. I'm done with that. Now we get to have fun. Can we have fun now? Sure. I've, I've been having fun. Are you sure? Yes. I don't believe you. I want to talk about sports. Okay, fine. Um, uh, oh, yeah. You know what? We did forget. I did forget. We, we forgot a sport? No, we forgot a sponsor. Oh, well, I, no, you didn't, because now is the moment. Yeah, before we get on to the fun part of, hey, sponsor. of the episodes. Thanks uh, for money. We actually have a sponsor, which is Manscaped.com. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, leather belt strap, right? Guess how many nicks and cuts I have on my testicles right now? None. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah? Manscaped. That's Ron right. Mower 4.0. That thing has a zero turn radius, believe it or not. Is that, did I get the name right? Yeah, you did. See? Absolutely. Yeah. You are ready for first class, Mike. <laughs> I, I might be. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Uh, but no, manscaped.com, they have excellent products to help you keep your butthole and uh, your dick and your, uh, you know, what are ball they, sack. What do, you, what do they give you to groom your butthole with? Uh, the lawnmower 4.0. It yeah. gets into cracks and crevices, yeah. man. Uh-huh. You can. If, that's why it's the adjustable LED light on there. So, you know, you can see in the dark. I think yeah. the butthole cleaner or the butthole shaver is also the nose hair trimmer. <laughs> you just got to be careful to not yeah. mix them up. That's true. It's, it's the- I did that at a friend's party once. I didn't I didn't really do it, but he had a nose hair trimmer sitting on his uh, on his counter there. And I just walked out of the bathroom with it, holding it in my hand. And to everyone, I announced his butthole shaver works really well they got a nice hearty laugh from the party and uh, yeah the 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 weed that's whacker funny. that's the, the the manscaped product to help with your nose hair don't shove it up your butt i just did that same exact thing to my boss <laughs> my boss has a uh, a water pick i did the exact same <laughs> thing my boss has a water pick and he keeps it uh, at at work downstairs in like the employee bathroom. <laughs> and I went down and took a shit, and I came upstairs, and I was like, "That handheld bidet works amazing." <laughs> nice, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, but dude, check them out at manscaped.com. They have all kinds of excellent products uh, like the ball toner and ball deodorant. Uh, they even have a beard trimmer as well that's out on the market right now. Check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we keep doing these commercials. <sighs> all right, let's have fun. Do they watch us? Does Manscaped watch this show? I, I have been told by our rep that we are one of their favorite uh, podcasts to listen to us do their commercials. Man, I hope that I want to get like a package. Uh, we got one, but it's been a while. But I don't want yours. I want right. Manscaped to be like, I like that guy. <laughs> okay. So if you're watching person from Manscaped, probably a woman because they're very capable. Sure. Absolutely. Then uh, of yeah. using the lawnmower on you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. In sure. theory. Theory. 
Yeah. All right. I just like to throw it out there because you never know. <laughs> there might right. be somebody that's like, what do I do with this box of Manscaped shit? <laughs> and right now they're like, send it to Mike Baldwin. That's right. I also need four new tires. And uh, <laughs> and I've got a, my check engine light is on. I bought the part that goes on there, but I can't figure out how to get it in there. So if somebody can do that. That's what I, I that's I, what I do for a living. Man, like, thanks, really? Yes. It's in my car. All right, we'll look at it. Me and Derek are gonna finish the show. <laughs> I'll go out and fix your car. <laughs> All right, now we get to move on to the fun stuff. Uh, we get to move on to the first segment, which is overrated or underrated. I love this, guys. If you have any suggestions for this, which I actually did look at some, uh, and we do actually have a, uh, a, I think a fan went in there. So yeah, but the first one this week is gonna be overrated or underrated light up shoes. Oh, man. Back in the day, they were underrated. Now they're just terrible. Why? So I'm going to say overrated, especially because now I don't have an excuse to hit people with my car that wear them. <laughs> like, yeah, I didn't see it. What do you mean? See them? It's fucking shoes light up. It's like a pinball machine. If you hit them, they just like make all kinds of lights. Yeah. So it's all perfect. If you hit them against another person, then <laughs> you get extra points. That's right. And both of their shoes light up. <laughs> Mike's in the back of the car just going, 10 points. I like the, uh, I don't like the ones that light up with every step, but I like the idea of like having a little light on your shoes. LEDs and if, shit. If you're out doing stuff at night or whatever, I did see a guy at the, a comedy show that had light up shoes that stayed illuminated the entire time, and it was the most annoying fucking thing. <laughs> I couldn't focus on anything, and then I was like, "Dude, what's up with your shoes?" And he was like, "What? Why are you talking about my shoes?" And I was like, "Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> you're wearing light up shoes in a dark fucking room, and you expect me to not notice them?" And he's like, "I don't know. I didn't even think about it." And I was like, "How do you not?" think <laughs> you're yeah, gonna be so. in a dark room with a comedy club and you're gonna be like an, an extra light shining onto your face they're overrated yeah they're because overrated. of that guy mike's like give me a 10 minute light and the guy's just doing a handstand in the back. <laughs> <laughs> dude I'm, trust me i'm here for you yeah uh i think derek's right on the money i think back when we were kids i never got a pair the la gear lights I, yeah i was a little too old when they came out but i thought they were still pretty cool it, it was right around the time where they were really cool for me and my mom would not buy me a pair so i was really pissed about it and i always 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 wanted them so if they would come out with some adult ones that are still doing that i might buy them just to piss her off is la gear still uh, still around no they can't be no la is doing terrible <laughs> <laughs> they're not gonna make the playoffs no they're not even with lebron back lebron was like he was apparently hurt and then he came back because he had a foot injury and he healed miraculously way quicker than all the doctors like expected him to. And I saw the meme. You remember when Kevin Nash was a wrestler and he came out with like the cast up on uh, in the wheelchair and then he just got up out of the cast like he was perfectly fine. That's basically what LeBron did. And then they lost the other night to the Bulls. I thought that was fucking like karma. I, and a I am on L.A. Gear dot com right now. It does exist. It does still exist. Do they still light up? I'm looking now. Oh, please, dear God. God, that would be so fucking dope. Uh, I typed lights and uh, I got nothing. Nothing. Damn How it. do you know those don't light up? Yeah, man. I mean, Maybe they just don't say it. Maybe it's so common yeah, that they're like, oh, what? You want us to say light on all of them? Yeah, just, all of them are. Just duct tape the lawnmower 4.0 on it. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think they're underrated and I'd, I'd still wear a pair just to piss people off. Uh, next one comes in from a listener. This is uh, from Thomas Kraus. Uh, we had one of his uh, not that long ago. Uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, waking people up with an air horn. Oh, that is the fucking most underrated thing ever. Anything involving an air horn, to me, will always be fucking funny. My stepdad stayed uh, over at my house one time when he was in town visiting, and I bought an air horn and that is all I did for two days yep. was just scare the fuck out of him with that air horn, waking him up. We're sitting there in the middle of watching TV and I'd fucking hide it and hit it. And, oh, uh, wonderful. Uh, there, oh, it's way underrated. Derek's exactly right. But I found something about what an air horn actually needs to be called. An air horn actually needs to be called a Karen finder. And the main reason why is because if you get somebody with an air horn that's cool, they're going to get really scared and they're going to freak out and they're going to be like, oh, shit, you got me, you got me, you got me. But a Karen finder is whenever you actually scare the shit out of somebody and they are fucking mean as fuck about it. They are pissed off and want to punch you in the face for it. I found one of those. That would be me, probably. That's you? Go ahead, though. Oh, yeah. fuck, yeah. Bring it to one of his shows. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just in the back. <laughs> I mean, an, an air horn is funny once every... Eight months. Okay, that's fair. 
<laughs> any more than that, it's like, dude, d- uh, don't fucking bring the air horn in here. <laughs> what about a golf course? Uh, I, every eight months still? I think that's pretty funny. I, yeah, I every that, eight months. It would be funny. Oh, any man. more than that, it's like, no, I'm not, I'm not even going to fucking invite him because he's going to bring the goddamn air horn again. <laughs> I think I've got a couple buddies that want me to go hunting all the time, and I think one time I just want to dupe them and be like, all right, I'll fucking go. Yep. And they got this deer lined up in their sights, and then I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and then the deer uh, from shock has a heart attack and dies. And you're trying to prevent violence. They're like, hey, how do you feel now, you fucking murderer? He wasn't even going to suffer the way we were going to do it. We were going to hit him right in the heart. Instead, he had to suffer for 40 extra seconds. What is that sound? What's going on? Oh, oh God, something's wrong. <laughs> you did that right in the middle of that deer's backswing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's great. All right, uh, thank you, Thomas. So I appreciate that one. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated? Pistol whipping a hostage. I feel like pistol whipping in general is very underrated. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, I don't know. Something about seeing somebody just get the shit slapped out of them with a gun. I don't know if there's anything more demoralizing <laughs> than that. You didn't I, even shoot him. No, you hit no. him with a gun. And Grant, it hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> right. There's no doubt. But man, that is just like... That's worse than a backhand, I think. That is, do those get included in gun violence statistics? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Like, how much gun violence is there this year? Like, a shitload. <laughs> I just want to like, Yeah, but how much of it is just a guy hitting a guy with a gun? That's not the same. <laughs> I just want to see a mass pistol whipping. <laughs> like, he didn't even have any ammo, but he just ran around the building just bitch slapping Mass people. gun violence today. <laughs> That's probably not... There was a fucking shooting today, so I don't know how oh, uh, yeah, there great... Was. This joke's gonna. All right, Whoops. and we edited it, and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. Uh, uh, so, uh, yeah. when you're pistol whipping a guy, are you holding the gun as you hold the gun and hitting him with the the, the end of it, or are you? But you're still holding it like a gun, yeah. and you're just like blooping yeah. the top of him. Yeah, yeah. See, I, like I would, think you just like and then backhand him with it. I That's, would imagine holding the barrel in my hand and then going <laughs> hitting him with the handle. Sure. And then the fear is that the the pressure of that causes a bullet to come yeah. out and shoot through my hand and into my arm, sure. and then I'm like, not only am I a dick for trying to hit a guy with my gun, I'm the dumb dick that can't even do it right. <laughs> you're the I, plaxico burst. I was of just gonna whippers. say. That dude, he's like, I'm a badass. Don't fuck with me. Oh. All right, I'll see you guys next year. Sorry, I stepped all over that. I didn't mean to. Yeah, no big deal. I uh, wouldn't have remembered his name, so you <laughs> timed it perfectly. So basically, long story short, underrated. Mike. Yeah, I'll fine. Let's hit people with guns. <laughs> <laughs> Save a life. Pistol whip. That's right. <laughs> oh shit all right next one overrated or underrated slow and sensual intercourse underrated <laughs> really i like it okay i prefer it to like like i would one of my favorite and i don't uh, all right one of my favorite <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite porn things that i stumbled upon is there's two girls and one cup and there, <laughs> no there's a there's the there's a two two girls and there's one guy and it's not that one <laughs> they're just like having a conversation with each other these two girls are and then the dude comes in and starts fucking one of the girls but she doesn't acknowledge him or anything she just continues the conver- they're like making a grocery list and shit that's my favorite kind con- where i'm like i don't because if you're into it, then that puts pressure on me to keep you into it. But if you're like, I don't care, I'm just going to watch this show, do whatever, then that's when I'm like, nice, all right. And then uh, if they choose to get into it, then that's even better. But no, that's I, I like slow and sensual more opposed to like, if a girl's like, choke me, I'm like, I'm going to fucking pick you up and take you to the door. By your throat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. What do you think? Overrated or underrated? <laughs> it's just rated, I think. I mean, like, it's... It's perfectly rated? It's Yeah, I mean, I, I you gotta have it in order to keep a marriage strong, I think. But then sometimes you just gotta fuck her hard. So uh, that, uh, that Jack Black song uh, or Tenacious D song is... Uh, 
pretty accurate. I yeah. Think. Yeah. I'll oh, take it. A lot of Tenacious D songs are pretty accurate. Yeah. The greatest song in the world tribute. Yeah. Uh -huh. True story. Yep. Uh, how about you, Derek? I'm going to say that it's very underrated. Very good. If you don't, uh, if you can't tell the type of physical shape that I'm in, that is about the only type <laughs> I, of way I can have it. Right. Course, is slow and sensual. <laughs> I'm not the hare. I am the tortoise. <laughs> That's in this conversation. <laughs> that might be why I chose that, actually. <laughs> yeah, because of my physical shape. Yes. Yeah. And you're like, Derek's fat. I think slow's the way to go. <laughs> no, but I mean, that's if a girl is like, I want you to get on top of me and fuck the shit out of me. And then another girl's like, I want you to just lay there and just let me like lay on top of you and I'll do all the work. Then I'd be like, you. I like you better. <laughs> They, yeah. they say, like, ask your doctor if your heart is healthy enough for sex in those commercials, which, granted, I'm never going to have that conversation with my doctor. <laughs> yeah, Emma, is it beating? It's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> no, any of that fast stuff? Not happening. No, I'm scared that if I ask my doctor if my heart is healthy enough for sex, he's going to ask me to do something in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Doc, is my heart healthy enough for sex? Drop your pants. <laughs> let's, let's, let's find check. out. Yeah. I'm 41. If I get too crazy, I'll fucking tear an Achilles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Last one. Overrated or underrated? Pulling out. A fucking way underrated. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you don't do that, you might have kids. <laughs> I mean, you could still have kids the other way, too. But Yeah. Nah. Isn't it kind of like a risk, though? I guess. Yeah. Maybe. So, like, birth control is underrated, is what you're saying. Oh, 100%. But okay. That's a okay. form of That's the Catholic method. That, I mean, that's yeah, the, that's yeah. right. <laughs> the Catholic method. Shit. Uh, yeah, I, I would say it is definitely underrated. Uh, you, you should uh, do that, especially uh, if you're under the age of 18. Um, but, yeah, I would, uh, I would definitely suggest all of you that don't want to have kids to pull out and have her take birth control. So, underrated for me as well. Mike? I think it's overrated. Really? Yeah, I think I, if you're not having sex to procreate, then there, you should, <laughs> shouldn't even be doing it. That's the whole purpose of the act. Yeah, no know? jacking off either. I mean, you can if you want, but that doesn't have anything to do with pulling out. Okay. If your wiener's going in there, you should be prepared to have a child. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> that's what pisses me off about schools and all that stuff these days is like, <laughs> that's the message we should be pushing. Sure. Like, like, don't fuck somebody unless you are willing to have a kid with that person. But instead, it's like... Ah, just fuck whoever you want. You can take care of the consequences later. <laughs> We're doing the same thing now with homelessness. I might have talked about this before, Maybe. but but that it shouldn't be a free option for everybody. When I was a kid, being a homeless person meant that you were a giant piece of shit. Sure. But now it's like, oh, I'm homeless, but that's cool because I don't even have any bills or nothing. And it's like, that's not something to strive for. You know? <laughs> so what about blowjobs and butt sex? That's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but I just think if you get pregnant, then that's like... I think you get all the sex if you're homeless. You just <laughs> yeah, take whatever, yeah, however much right. money... If you get pregnant, then I feel like you should have a baby. I do, too. And okay. you shouldn't fuck a guy if you're not prepared to have a baby with him. Okay, fair enough. All right, moving on to what, 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 what would you do? Um, these are basic uh, scenarios that uh, I found. And uh, if, uh, yeah, we're just going to see what, what would you do in this particular situation. Number one, get a girl pregnant. Abortion. <laughs> <laughs> but, Mike, you seem to be. All right, sorry, go ahead. No worries. <laughs> Uh, first one, you are going to a popular event and find a vehicle taking up four parking spots. What would you do? Park a half inch away from his door, from uh, his driver's side door. Oh, you are not even joking. And I would team up with you and I would park a half an inch away from the other door. Well, then I, never mind. I don't want to be on your team. <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> have, you, have you seen the one, too, where the guy will take a, somebody carries zip ties mm -hmm. and they'll zip tie a shopping cart to their door handle? Oh, oh yeah. God. That's fucking fantastic. Absolutely. Or uh, I just like the people that take around their own, like, like sidewalk chalk. And like draw their own parking space of what they're in, and then they have like a like a like sadistic note, not a sadistic, but like a sarcastic <laughs> note underneath it. And it's just like, hey, look at you! You get your own parking spot, you fucking moron! Like, oh, you mean the other people that see the yeah, car? Yeah, to see the car. Uh, I thought and you meant the write. guy parks fucked up and then gets out, <laughs> and then he's like, I'll draw a parking spot. <laughs> I got this. No, no, people find them, and then I like the other people that put like business cards in their windshield wipers of telling them how much of a piece of shit they are. Yeah, uh, people like you, you 
you uh, not all we not not all heroes wear capes. Thanks. I fucking love those videos that you'll see on TikTok where it'll be like some truck that's like fucking wrecked and ran into a house, and then somebody will be like, "Hey, you can't park there." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. I wouldn't do anything. I, I mean, I would I would do the same thing I do every time I see a car like that, and I'll just go, <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice job, man. But then I say nothing because yeah. I'm a giant pussy. That's okay. No worries. Uh, next one. What would you do? Let's see. Uh, someone keeps calling you by the incorrect name. What would you do? No. Well, I'll tell you, Stephen. I... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the way I feel about that, yeah, I don't know. You don't know? Would you let them continue continue to call your, you the wrong name, or would you correct them? Uh, I've been Matt to some people. Um, my name's Mike, by the way, if you don't know who I am. <laughs> I know it says right below me. Yeah, it's Mike Maldwin. Maldwin. Perfect. Mike, Mike Maldwin. Mike my, my, Maldwin. My uh, middle name is Joseph, to start this story. My dad's name is Michael. I had an uncle named Michael and another Michael somewhere else in the family. And so when I was born, my aunt, my dad's sister, was like, oh, another Mike. Here we go. So she started calling me by my middle name. She called me Joseph for like a few months, and then that went to Joey. So I was Joey to 10 members of my family to this day. Really? I'll, I'll see them. People will be like, do you know who Mike Baldwin is? And they'll be like, no. I, oh, you mean Joey? Oh, yeah, the comedian. <laughs> yeah, so I'm fine. People call me whatever the fuck they want. If, I, if they're looking at me and talking to me, I know that they're talking to me. I will. I think everybody that's been a listener of this show since we were called the Unfiltered Sportscast knows I do not like to be called Scott. I never have. Derek, I love calling you Scott. Derek used to piss me off. And, and over time, you just kind of get numb with it because it's Derek just trying to piss me off, and he can't really do that anymore. Oh, I so, can. Oh, he can. I, I mean, he can, yeah. but not wait, with that. Wait, wait, do you try your butthole shaver. <laughs> <laughs> a, a very exhausting human being, yeah, Derek. I, I've always been. I've always been Scotty. That's always been my name. Um, is that your? Is your birth certificate Scott? No, it's Scotty. It's Scott T. Like my middle initial is T, so that was the whole idea around so it. It's, so, but it's Scott, yeah, with yeah. a space, yeah, and then other shit, yeah. So your name's Scott. Shut the fuck up. All right. Anyways, no, but I do, I do have a, I, I, I am one of those people that would correct, correct, um, anybody who doesn't call me by my name. However, uh, at the current job that I've been working at for twelve years now, almost, um, my first like week, uh, I had a another coworker who was a manager that for the longest time I thought his name was Chuck. I just, I just thought his name was Chuck, and I called him Chuck for at least two weeks, and he never corrected me. So one day I was looking for him, I couldn't find him, and I was calling the people in his department, and I was just like, "Hey, where the fuck is Chuck?" And they just looked at me and go, "Who in the fuck is Chuck?" Turns out his name's Paul. Never <laughs> fucking corrected me. How did you get? I have no idea. I maybe I just thought I heard somebody call him that and miss and uh -huh. misheard or something, but. Yeah, his name's Paul. Never corrected me, and still to this day, it's kind of a joke between me and him, and I call him Chuck still. Nice. So, there it is. How about you, Derek? Um, <clears throat> what I would usually do is nothing at all um, <laughs> because I probably gave him the wrong name anyway. On purpose. Yeah. Uh, so fair, fair I'm enough. like, I like to do that. Like when I introduce myself, I'm like, hey, my name's Jaquarius. <laughs> yeah, and they're nice. Like, Smith? What? I'm like, yeah, Jaquarius. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. All right. And then somebody else is like, Derek, come here. And you're like, I'll be right back. And they're like, but wait, I thought. It's my middle name. <laughs> oh, there you go. He lies to them and says his name's Derek. Right. <laughs> God. All right. Next one. You are walking down the aisle in a grocery store and you find a poop on the floor. What would you do? Call Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> yeah. He's the expert on this situation. <laughs> I don't know. He's taught us pretty good stuff. You got to put all kinds of cones and a chalk outline to make sure people can avoid it for uh, at least until the hazmat team comes. Well, he's WPD. Jeremy is. Oh, he's right. Yeah, Wichita poop department. <laughs> he is. Uh, He's the guy that you call in this situation. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's exactly what I do. What about you, Mike? What would you do? I would do the exact same thing that I do when I'm walking down the sidewalk with a girl for the first time, and that is point at the ground and go, dog shit. <laughs> 
That's my favorite thing to do when I'm going this way and someone else is walking this way. Just point at the ground and go, dog shit. And they'll always do a weird stutter step. And then you're either past them by the time it matters or you're just like, oh, I thought I thought I seen dog shit. (laughs) Shit. All right. uh, Next one. You suddenly have an erection in a very public place. What would you do? Stay in the pool a little longer. (laughs) That's what I did. (laughs) Hey, everybody out of the pool, we're doing a picture. Oh, I'm going to be halfway in the pool for the picture. It's just so comfortable in here. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I have two older sisters, so I didn't realize until, like, I don't know, um, longer than I should have of just walking around with boners Yeah. before they were like, don't walk around like that. And I'm like, like what? Like, (laughs) oh, you can tell? (laughs) Like, I didn't know... You should like it's just soft. Well, what do you with mean? Da- with I mean, Derek, I had, you can't tell, I had like with underwear you, sure. on and stuff. I don't want people thinking I'm just <laughs> naked boner <laughs> with my <laughs> sisters. Yeah, it's almost just, worse. Just tidy whitey boner, and your sisters like I, now Mike! that's more accurate. Yeah, I'm like Joey, <laughs> Joey. No, my sisters never called me that. I was Mikey in my yeah. family, oh, or several shit. nicknames along the way. That reminds me of the other. My dad would call me Sonny all the time. Like, come here, Sonny boy. You know, like that kind of stuff. And I was at his work one day helping do boxes or whatever the fuck we did i don't know i was high all the time but yeah and he was like this is my sonny right here and then for the rest of the day all the people that i had to help called me sonny and i was too scared to be like my name's mike actually <laughs> so at the end of the day they're like audio sonny good to meet you and i'm like thanks everybody <laughs> my name's sonny uh i try to think of something really scary like that's that's how it goes away Cause I mean, oh, the boner. Yeah, I was like, when you see poop at the grocery store, no, <laughs> no like, like when you're in that situation, and it ha- it has happened before to where all of a sudden you have no fucking reasoning why, and all of a sudden you're just like, Jesus Christ, really? Or like you wake up in the morning, you don't want to get up out of bed and like maybe give your wife the wrong impression, like you just had a dream and you were probably fucking some other girl, bullshit. But no, you think of something scary, it makes it go away. Hmm. So that's that's what I do. I haven't mine go away. Uh, you have an instant deflator? Not instant. Well, I'll tell you what's an instant deflator is a host being like, and your next comedian is Mike Baldwin. Because then my whole body is like, all right, brain. Everything's going to the brain. No blood needs to be anywhere else. I've never gotten a boner on stage. Oh, you should try. See, I can't go on stage unless I have a boner. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean that some, you know. Derek tapes his to his leg whenever he's doing a stand-up comedy performance. And then it makes his leg shoot out <laughs> as, it, as it gets harder. Sorry, it's like a splint. <laughs> it, my leg goes wherever my dick goes. I have no control over it. Oh shit. How about you, Derek? Uh I don't give a fuck now, but but as a kid, yeah, I would carry like anything in front of it. Oh, so, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you got to go to the next class. Well, I don't need to carry my book like this. We'll just carry it like this. <laughs> you know, like a fucking tray table on a goddamn airline. <laughs> Why do you have a basket of laundry at school, Mike? <laughs> oh, it's nobody's business. <laughs> or fucking slouch and like walk very hunched over. I've oh, done that yeah. before, too. Yeah, I've done that before. Hey, look, here's how a monkey walks. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> and he's carrying a book in front of him. <laughs> he likes to read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of those things where they're like, if you could go back and relive high school again or whatever, like I would just walk around with boners. <laughs> Fair enough. Because nobody, uh, anybody that wasn't into it wouldn't have been into you anyway. Right. And then there there would be that one girl that's like, I see you got a boner there. What are you going to do with it? And I'd be like, go into the locker room and with impregnate you, you because you into can't, the gender yeah. neutral locker room that and, we have now. And you would have to impregnate her because you can't fuck her unless you want to have a kid. And I would. Oh, okay. Because that's who I want to have a kid with is a little girl who's like, hey, person that I don't know with a boner. Do you want to put it in me? Yeah. No, she's going to be like, just put it in there and I'll do whatever. Yeah. Right. You're like, all right. Yes. Yes. I'm like, Oh, sorry. I came already. You shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got to balance my checkbook. Oh God. All right. <laughs> you focus on that. Oh shit. All right. Carry uh, the one, carry the one. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. 
A deranged female you don't know is trying to violently punch you in the face. What would you do? Grab her dick and twist it. (laughs) The old dick twist. Hmm. Statistically, there will be one. (laughs) Yep. Nah. Grab, grab her clit and twist it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm, I, I have a very, very um, controversial opinion when it comes to this kind of thing. Let's have it. Um, I My answer is going to be uh, counter right, left, uppercut. Mm-hmm. That's going to be my my automatic answer uh, because you don't really know. And I we kind of know the kind of person that is going to do this. She's about in her late thirties, early forties, uh, probably a lot bigger than I am. So I got to defend myself. She probably do a little bit of damage and I know how to defend myself. And guess what? Equal rights equals equal lefts. So that's kind of the way I'm going to go with it. If you actually think that this person could legitimately harm you, you have the right to defend yourself in any particular way whatsoever. So yeah, equal rights, equal lefts motherfucker. That's how I think. I would go for the stomach. I feel like or that if a girl is violent enough to want to punch you, she's punched people before and sure. probably been punched. Probably. But she's probably been punched in the face and had her hair pulled a lot, so she's yeah. used to it. Yeah. They're not used to just a fucking yeah. punch and, you know, yeah. knock all the wind out of her. Yeah. Like, and then as she's on the ground, settle down. Yeah. <laughs> but no, seriously, I think that if if you can obviously restrain, do that. If, if they got a knife, that's a different story. I mean, it just all kind of goes with what it. A knife in the shirt. Sure, yeah. yeah. But it's but, the same with guys, too. I exactly. mean, if a, if a guy yeah. is trying to beat me up and I can just go like this yeah. and be like, what the fuck? And like talk to my friends while it's happening. <laughs> Look yeah. at what this guy's doing. I don't think then, you should beat the shit out of a chick. Then no, there's, but or that guy. There's no yeah. reason to do that. But <clears throat> yeah, if I get no legit you. punched, if I'm bleeding or something and they're still coming, then yeah, the, dude, the, letting them fly at yeah. that point. All right, well, that was What Would You Do? Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions for any of these segments, you can now send them to us at uh, Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram and now on Twitter, which is at L-O-T Sidelines. Ladies and gentlemen, a blue check mark is on the fucking way, baby. So, nice. yes, yeah, I'm really excited about that. If you haven't already started following us on Twitter, do that if you have Twitter because I don't have to edit a fucking thing. We can put our jokes out there, and we're not going to get a shitload of uh, back. Well, we'll get backlash for it, but we won't get muted or taken and down. You can shit. put the whole show on there now, you, too, can't you? Can, you? Uh, pretty much. Uh, pretty close to it, and I don't want to do that. I, I like the clips so people can go to Spotify and YouTube to actually watch the episodes ah. or listen to them. That's that's the the, be- the most important part. Keep them clicking. That's right. That's right. So, but again, uh, uh, on Twitter, at uh, L-O-T Sidelines. Uh, if you don't follow us, uh, we are moving that direction pretty quick. So, anyways, first question. Seventy percent of the U.S. population blanks is dumber than the other seventy percent of the U.S. population. One hundred percent of the time. That's true. Absolutely, seventy uh, percent of the U.S. population masturbates in their car. I can see that. I'm just saying. I think all. I think especially all guys do it, but I think girls do it too. I mean, I, I do it and have, have, have done, done it, it are two completely different things. Have I think have masturbated in? I car. absolutely have. Yeah. Yes, Derek. I, I told you mine. I think it went over your head, though. Oh, no, I did. Yeah, yeah, seventy <laughs> percent. You did is, math is wrong. Dumber than the other seventy on purpose because yeah. that's one hundred percent of the joke. time. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, now phrase it for me. Do okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, seventy percent of the U.S. population voted for Donald Trump. <laughs> oh my God! And that truth will come out one day. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! All right, no politics. Anyways, moving on to the next <laughs> question. In Michael Jackson's final moments, he thought about how much he loved children, but didn't want to fuck them. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I'll stand by that because okay. I've seen both documentaries. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I think he thought of Billie Jean. Really was his lover. Mm-hmm. That's and the kid was definitely his son. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. How about you, Derek? Uh, clearing his browser search history. <laughs> that ain't no shit. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. I, that- I should have saved my answer for last. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I think that he was a weirdo, and I think that he loved kids, but I don't think he loved them sexually. Okay, so he was not Jared from Subway. No. no Jared from Subway is a fucked up individual. Yeah, he, you watched yes. that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, but anyways, uh, next one. Um, Hopefully that wasn't Michael Jackson's last thought. He's like, I wonder what Jared's doing right now. <laughs> I want to give Jared a call. 
Uh, next question. In an attempt to recreate conditions just after the Big Bang, physicists are observing collisions between blank and blank. My foot and your ass. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of power from that, huh? Yes. All right. Slow and sensual power. All right. Uh, <laughs> the woke people and the KKK. All over the place. You said it's like opposites. Yeah. And you smash them into each other. That's and right. I've been watching Lost, so I said Jacob and the man in black. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I was like, what's opposites? <laughs> and those are the first ones that popped in my yeah. head. Uh, let's see. Oh, we shoot. We got another one from Thomas Krause on this episode. Great. Uh, things you don't want to hear at a WWE wrestling event. And his opponent, standing at six foot one, two hundred and forty three pounds, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. <laughs> oh my God! You're seventy four years old. <laughs> what is your finisher? Not dying? Yeah. Stop it! <laughs> and the crowd's going, oh, oh, he's <laughs> is he gonna? He's not dying, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How does he do it? <laughs> Woo! Absolutely. <laughs> oh shit! This is bad. I. <clears throat> uh, Owen Hart coming down from the rafters. Oh, mm. yeah. Kemper yeah. Arena. Yep. I I was just thinking like what would be inappropriate at a wrestling thing, and then I added that to the thing, and I said, "Let's get ready for bubbles." <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude! Wrestling in bubbles, like bubble machines all over the place. Uh -huh. Fuck yeah. Or like suds, more suds. Yes. I, even though suds are technically millions of bubbles. Okay, so female <laughs> WWE. That would be all right. But then it's just getting into a whole other thing. It's getting into that not porno situation anymore, yeah. that you were talking about. That's What's your favorite wrestling? I like when two girls are <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Wait, you're already not talking about wrestling anymore. That was the 90s era. That's right. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, a romantic candlelit dinner would be incomplete without blank. Well, obviously a candle. Right, uh, um, but I'm gonna go with uh, Roadhouse playing in the background. <laughs> oh God! There's just something romantic about when Dalton rips out Jimmy's throat in the final fight scene. Right, that just gets you there. And if it goes longer than two hours, uh, it's followed up shortly by Bloodsport. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I know Derek fairly. <laughs> Bloodsport is good. Have you seen MacGruber? No. No. Oh, dude, throat rip city. <laughs> <laughs> It's like an homage to, to Roadhouse. To Roadhouse. Oh, I fucking love that, Roadhouse. That's like his secret move. Do you know of MacGruber? Yeah. One of the, I would say one of my top five comedy movies that exist. Because it's so cheesily bad, but in a, like they know it's cheesily bad. It's not one of those cheesily bad movies that you're like, geez, just doing it for the paycheck, huh? They were like, we're going to write bad <laughs> uh, script. What am I thinking of? Like, yeah, yeah. Voice bad lines. Movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, whatever. MacGruber. All right. All right. Uh, a romantic candlelit dinner would be incomplete without a mariachi band. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I'd be all right with that. That's romantic, especially when you got to involve like four Mexicans with uh, instruments in, involved in it. You got to do that. They can be any nationality. <laughs> they actually had two or three groups of them come up to us in Costa Rica. I'm sure you did. Yeah. They're like, what do you want us to play? I'm like, you're way off the fucking stage. <laughs> what I want you to play. How about you there, uh, Mike? I couldn't think of anything. I just wrote photons. Oh, yeah. Because that would ruin the, the candlelight. Yeah, yeah. I think futons, maybe. Yeah, futons. <laughs> oh, or futons. Yeah. yeah. But no, I mean like the particles that you are required to make light. Oh, okay. Because then it wouldn't be candle lit. I and, gotcha. And then you probably wouldn't be able to. Do you need light to cook? Mm -hmm. Or is it just the heat? Yeah, you know, yeah. That'd be Can it. you cook in complete darkness? Sure. But yeah, lawnmower 4.0 gets hot enough. I mean, you just stove. fucking. Yeah, sleep. Yeah, electric stove too. But it gets red. Well, I know the lawnmower four doesn't get red, but it gets pretty hot. Well, you haven't left it on long enough. <laughs> I got mine running at home right now. I'm gonna check it out when I get home. <laughs> He's gonna cook some alphabet soup with it. Does they it get cook, warm? Don't they cook like Not pig really. and okay. shit in the sand in Hawaii? I think they have that where it's like buried underground and they cook it. That's so true. You could Ooh. cook in the dark. Yeah. All right. Oh, you can't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that is questions and perguntas for this week. Again, if you have any suggestions, send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or at LOT Sidelines on Twitter. 
Now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Uh, last week, uh, Derek ran away with it. And JP may have got two votes. I think. Oh my God! What was last? <laughs> what week? was last week? Uh, what was last week? Oh, worst smells. Oh yeah, because uh, he he picked pussy because he's gay. So uh. I think I think our our target fan base uh, probably like pussy a lot. Oh, I I would probably <laughs> agree with it. I agree. Yes, <laughs> I've had like. I, I'm, it doesn't matter. But. <laughs> <laughs> I've had experiences with stinky puss, is what you're trying to say. Well, that and I, but according to my friends, that experience was just regular old puss. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, if that's what regular is, then I must have just been so lucky multiple times <laughs> because I've I know that they exist. Girls that don't smell like that. <laughs> yeah, it's and true. I want that one. Right, 100. <laughs> percent That's why I joke on stage. Like I don't want to do anything with a girl unless she has showered more recently <laughs> than she pooped but you can't you can't just ask that you can't apparently you can't come right out and say it all right uh so then anyways that means that derek won so he gets the championship picks i got second so that means i get the sandwich picks and mike has the guest and i mean you're kind of a guest you're kind of a regular at this point uh but you get uh the first pick and this week's draft is going to be our biggest fears uh yeah this one's gonna be pretty easy for me so mike you get to kick this draft off with your biggest fear um the first one I'm going to say is uh, just forgetting my comedy. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's something that freaks me out all oh, the time. Oh, wow. And okay. It, and it always happens when the audience isn't laughing. Because yeah. <laughs> it's like, a, in my mind, it's like a script. Like, my yeah. lines are the jokes, and the audience's lines are to go, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> and when they don't do that, then my mind blanks. Because yeah. I'm like, oh, shit, they forgot their line. What's my line? Yeah. And then I just forget. And the only thing that pops in my head are, like, the most unfunny it's one of my biggest it's one of my biggest fears <laughs> okay uh mine's pretty easy everybody knows it if you've listened to the show i am absolutely terrified of being eaten by a shark that is my number one overall fear i saw jaws when i was three years old and it fucked me for life i don't even like getting in lakes because of that shit because mm. i just imagine a giant shark so that's mine Derek. spiders yep I fucking hate spiders. Yeah? When yeah. I was a kid, I, I, arachnophobia is what I watched. Mm -hmm. That was it. I was like, nope. I was like, oh, the dad from Roseanne's in this. Cool. And then I was like, <laughs> This will oh. be funny. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is terrifying. Yeah. And then I watched it. And then like, I would lay down. And I'd feel like ting like a, your body will just like tingle. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> was, that was there one on me? Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. The, somewhat related. I was laying on my back in bed. The TV was the only light in the room, and I see a cricket crawl across oh, my fuck. blanket over my chest. Yeah. And I didn't sleep in my bedroom for two months. <laughs> oh, I slept, oh my, my, my room was in the basement, and I slept on the couch upstairs for the next several months because I was Waited just like, out. oh, dude, I was like, there's bugs down there. Yeah. They're everywhere. Yep. Yeah. I, I'm with you. Uh, next pick there, Derek. I got to go with old faithful uh, snakes. Okay. I like snakes. I think I might be able to deal with, but like just seeing one, like when you're doing something, like say you're in the basement fucking working on something and there's a snake or and you're in the backyard and like you're like, oh, let me move this gutter thing up back where it's supposed to be. And then a fucking snake pops out. You will jump fucking 60 feet in the air. <laughs> I don't know. I got. I, I would be like, "Oh, hey, little fella!" I'd be like, "Holy fuck!" I had a pet snake. I had a. I had a. Uh, it was a really small one, but I had. I like your snakes. wiener. No, no, it, it was. A, it was a hog nose. I, I hope my wiener doesn't yeah. have a hog nose. It does. It's got two. Yeah, holes. you're describing your wiener right yeah. now. Yeah, I, your wiener. Sure, like, you know, it had scales on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your wiener. Yeah, we you, get it. You have Lil Dicky's penis. <laughs> we know. Uh, another one. If you listen to the show, I am absolutely terrified of uh, dying in a plane crash. A plane crash going down, and Flying everybody's in general. Or I, I'm I don't like to fly, but like I do not. I'm terrified of a of dying in a plane crash. That's that's what it is. It's not like 
Like, if you're going to go down in a plane, everybody's like, oh, but it's really quick. When you hit the ground, you're dead. It's like, that's not the part. The part is the falling for, like, three minutes, and you are you just know you're goner. That's the scary part, and that's what I, oh, that just fucking freaks me out. So, yeah, that's my number two. Mike, you get two, bud. Uh, well, to comment on yours, the falling is a, a dream that I have every couple yeah, of months. Yeah, I do, too. And so I'm not scared of it as much i feel like i would be the the quiet guy in the crashing airplane that was just like i'm have accepted my fate yep kiss my ass goodbye here we go um all right one of uh my biggest fears are i get two of them yep, yep. get two in all a right, row first one not getting at least 10 new followers from this episode <laughs> <laughs> i'm at mike baldwin on twitter <laughs> Let's see. Okay, and then another one is, um, which one do I want to save? Meeting a girl on Tinder, inviting her over to my house, hooking up with her, deciding she's crazy, never wanting to talk to her again, and then she shows up uninvited at my house. <laughs> okay. That's on my list of uh, biggest fears. Crazy. Like crazy stalker? Not even a stalker, just a, well, okay, yes. Okay. I guess she would become a stalker at that point. Oh, if I'm going to try to squeeze that in on yours. <laughs> if, it's, if it's somebody that, basically, you can't stalk somebody who likes you. Because yeah. then it's not stalking. Then it's just like you're around all the time, and it's nice. Okay. Right? I don't yeah. know. Have you watched You? No, but oh, I've... Oh, you need to watch You. No, I don't. No, you don't. See, yeah, do. that's you, that's what I've <laughs> learned about TV shows. Yeah. Anytime somebody's like, oh, <laughs> then I know that I don't have to watch that. Okay. I heard the same noise about Tiger King, and I'm fine. I wouldn't have told you that. <laughs> Somebody did, though. I thought it was great. <laughs> there's, your, there's your somebody. Uh, all oh, right. I did both of mine. Okay. Uh, my next one is, is very legitimately real. I, uh, I am terrified from the earth getting hit by a global killer asteroid or meteor because you can't do shit. Like but, you're fucked. And, and the hysteria that would ensue if everybody knows about it. And that's why I think if there was one that was coming, they ain't telling nobody. Yeah. Nobody, because the the mass hysteria would go nuts first. You just see all the rich people like, hey, we're gonna go to Mars. See you later. Yeah. Like, no why is everybody going to Mars all of a sudden? No kidding. It's a mass exodus. Holy shit! But no, I'm very. I, that is legit. I am. I'm terrified of that. So, there. man, none of your guys' fears scare me that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be on an airplane with spiders and snakes and. I, I, and there's an asteroid movie. next to us as we're falling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Derek, you get two in a row. Uh, confrontation. Just totally? So, yeah, I do not like confrontation. Really? Like if somebody comes up and starts fucking yelling and screaming at me about shit, I fucking hate it. Okay. And two, if it's at my job, I have a short temper, and I might fucking snap right back, say something I shouldn't say. Uh, this so, is true. Yeah, so confrontation for sure. Okay. And... I'm going to go with the paranormal. Oh, ghosts and ghouls and goblins and things like that? Yeah, like, man, like, I would go on a ghost hunt, and I think it, may, it might be interesting, but then you see, like, people are like, oh, I brought that shit home, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I don't want that. <laughs> like, whatever, you're fucking laying in bed, and you hear, like, Derek. something, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck was that? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've had that. I was laying in bed, and, like, my ceiling fan was making a weird noise that it had never made, and I'm mm -hmm. like, what the fuck? fuck is that fucking noise yeah and it would do it constantly it would just do it and then it wouldn't for like a minute and a half and oh that's do it the again. worst and i'm like what in the fuck is that yeah and you thought ghosts no i didn't know what it was but ghosts was an option no. in your head. <laughs> sure <laughs> yeah um all right mine this next was kind of weird uh but it is very very true i would be my one of my biggest fears is not being able to protect those who are close to me so like if i don't have the ability to protect my wife from somebody else trying to harm her or from something just just having that uh helplessness of trying to protect people that i really care about i uh, that is a definite fear that i have that's why i have guns so yeah that's uh that's mine unless it's a ghost you can't shoot a ghost scotty you mean you can at least maybe it'll scare the ghost <laughs> fuck or maybe it'll further kill him <laughs> <laughs> twice this is ridiculous that's right <laughs> mike you get your last two um man i have three left and yeah. i'm debating uh 
which one's going to get the honorable mention. Uh, one of them is uh, one of my biggest fears is not being where I think I currently am. And a good example is when I'm on stage doing comedy, I, it goes through my head sometimes like, man, I really hope that I'm actually on stage at a comedy club right now. I hope that I'm not just like in a hospital Oh, like, so like dementia, like staring at the wall and doing a comedy routine. And like the nurses are there watching me and then they hear me talk about this and they're like, he he's acknowledging us. Like, yeah, that's one of my big fears. And I think the same thing, like when I'm pooping, I'm like, man, I hope that I'm really at home on my toilet right now. I hope that I'm not like on a bus or something. And <laughs> you wake up, you're on the fucking washing machine or wherever, you know, at work or something. Or yeah, that's one of my fears. And then the other at one, an aircraft plant, <laughs> this is what you're at. The other one is poop related. Also, one of my big fears is uh, when I've pooped like three times already before noon and I feel like I have to go again, that's a fear because I know that the wiping is going to be painful. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, God, buddy, can you just t turn it off for a little while? <laughs> and then uh, honorable mention, of course, sinkholes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, shit. I'm I'm kind of out of shit right now. Do you want sinkholes? You can have sinkholes if you want. <laughs> they could literally be under us right now. No, I, and I know that's a legitimate fear. I there mean, could it, be like five feet thick rock yeah. right below our feet, and yeah. then a mile long open cave below that. We I, could drop through and fall a mile. I have a legitimate one that it's probably up there in my in my top three, but I'm not going to say it because I will be fucked with forever. What and is I'm, it? We got to know. No, oh. I can't. No, I'm not going to because it, it is. It, no, it's way too easy. That's you a big fear, buddy. I, I, no, I won't do it because out of all the people that are sitting here and the people that I know, you would do it the most out of everybody. Oh, so I've got to know what it is. No, I'm not going to. Um, so in that, uh, in that respect, I am going to say, uh, tsunamis is going to be my last in one. In Kansas. No, no. <laughs> uh, how about I this? Mean, that Jesus. would be my, one of my fine. biggest fears. I, I'll, fine. I'll just make it easy. Thalassophobia, which is, which is basically the deep ocean, like how, how infinitesimally small you are. And so just the ocean, you are at the bottom of the fucking food chain. So I know that kind of goes with sharks, but I will go with that one. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, and then last but not least, Derek, you get your last pick. Well, I'm not going to choose dying, even though that that's a, a that's a pretty on. Um, I mean, that's kind of a basic one, you know? Yeah, um, I've got a couple. I'm trying to decide if I want to use being a parent. Like if I ever accidentally get my wife pregnant, like, oh boy. I think it'd be a great dad. No, I'd be a terrible dad. You'd be a great dad. Mm -mm. Yeah, uh, I'm sure. Quit trying to would. talk yourself out of it. You no. would be a great I'm dad. I'm 40 now. That's too old for that. I'll be uh, 41 in a couple of weeks, man. No. George uh, Clooney just had another one. Yeah. But I'm, he, just, I'm just kidding. He, he didn't. He gets Stacey Keebler or he did. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'd, I'd lock that bitch up. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> in fact, not pulling out of that ever. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um, she's like, I gotta go to work. No, you don't. There's one um, that you haven't said that I know is definitely. There's a bunch. There's a. Uh, there's one that that I know you are extremely scared. I know the dentist is another one. Okay. Uh, rejection is one. That is a good big one for you. Yeah. Um, so between for me, it's between rejection or someone breaking into my house. Oh shit! That's not the one I was gonna pick. So. I'm gonna go with a uh, with home invasion. Home invasion. Yeah, I, I would say that. That's the other day, especially when my wife's out of town and shit, and so it's just me. Oh yeah, I there was one day. Oh my god, it was it was like fucking. You would rather um, she be there to be invaded? No, <laughs> it's not even that. Like this legit fucking happened about a month ago, a month and a half ago. My wife was like out of town. She was at her mom's, and uh, I'm by myself at home. She wasn't supposed to be back until like the next day, and I talked to her on the phone like. 15, 20 minutes beforehand. And she's like, yeah, I'm just sitting here with my mom. I'm like, cool. And her mom was like three hours away. And then all of a sudden, I hear someone fucking turning the garage door handle to, in, to, into the house. And so I fucking took my hand and I open slapped the door hard as fuck. And I was getting ready to go get my pistol. And uh, then my wife was like, it's me. And I was like, you fucking told me you were three hours away. 
Like if I, that's another reason why that is a fear is if it is somebody I know and I don't know that it's somebody I know fucking with me, right? trying to surprise me. And then I fucking got my gun. I just blindly boom. Yeah, that's true. That's fucking <clears throat> terrifying. And me. they're like, why'd you murder your wife? Yeah. And you're like, I didn't. <laughs> you're, you're like, you're suspect number one when that happens. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I killed her. Yeah, I shot her. Yeah, I was scared and angry, but not at her. <laughs> yeah. It's her fault. I thought she told I was, me she was three hours away. Yeah. So what was she just being cute when she was like, she yeah, was, just hanging with my mom. Well, she, yeah, she was pissed at me, but she's like, I wanted to surprise you. I, I I'm sorry for trying to surprise you. I'm like, that is not the way to fucking surprise me. Because <laughs> there's another night where I was sitting at home and I had the mic you that opened your garage. And it was like four in the morning and I'm sitting at home and I was getting ready to go to bed. And my phone gives me alert that my garage door was open. And I was like, what? So I fucking went and got the pistol, opened the, or walked out that little door. And sure as shit, my garage door and it was wide open. Somebody, somehow it had opened. Hmm. So I was like, that, that's Paranormal. a big fear for me. Yeah. No, I, that was not the one I was going to pick for you. Hmm. There, there's definitely one for you that I for sure thought you would have picked. Because I, I want to say I was in a situation with you whenever this occurred. But you're what? scared of heights. I've skydove. I know. Yeah, I've been skydiving. I'm on. Not skydiving, though. Is that, that's a different kind of heights. It's like you being on a like something that you're standing on really, really high up in the air. Something like that. Yeah, that like whatever. Yeah. Like yeah, the deck. You, yeah. Like, no, that didn't bother me. But if you get really close to like, like whenever I was uh, doing work up towards the top of my house, yeah, that fucked yeah. with me. Uh, yeah. On a being high up on a ladder, yeah. like way up there, yeah, that fucks with me. Yeah, I love being high on a ladder <laughs> <laughs> and off a ladder. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> but no, I, I think I think that's a, that's a pretty good list for everybody. I think those are all legitimate fears, and uh, yeah, I feel I mine aren't as like real as your guys's yours are personal you're like i hope i don't die and i'm like i hope my butthole doesn't hurt <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible way to die though yeah no kidding <laughs> oh dude hey, i yeah. that's some shit that i think about far too often it's like the worst <laughs> things that a human could do to another human have you seen uh uh, Dune, the movie Dune. I've heard of it, but not seen it. Okay, so there's a scene where this guy has to take his hand and put it in this box, and the box is like pain or whatever, and and is he feels his hand burning and shit stabbing it and all that, and then eventually he pulls his hand out and his hand's fine. It was all in his head or whatever. But so that made me think, if I'm like tortured somewhere, I'm being held in a in a chair, and a dude is like, okay, you're gonna eat your hand now. We're going to take your hand, we're going to put it in this toaster oven, we're going to cook it, and then you have to eat it. That would be one of my biggest fears. Oh, God, fuck. Oh, yeah. I can go ten times worse than that no, if you I'm want. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. Because then that led to, like, YouTube videos of, like, what are the ten worst ways to die? <laughs> oh, fuck and that. And the one that I found is being cut in half very slowly. Oh, fuck that. No, I'm out. Well, anyways, guys, that is our list <laughs> of, of our biggest fears. You can vote uh, on the list that you think is has the things that you're scared of uh, by clicking on the corresponding emoji. Go to Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote. We appreciate you doing that. Whoever wins next week, uh, I don't know, gets a pat on the back. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you this week by BattlecornCarePackages.com. Uh, uh, I know that they have a fundraiser going on. You can go and click the link in our bio. Uh, it is for a, uh, a dance that they have coming up in August. Uh, I know that's a ways away, but they do have a goal uh, that they want to hit. So if you can, do us a favor. Go and check them out at BattlecornCarePackages.com. Excellent cause. Uh I, and I really actually have a lot of support for them and what they do. So go check them out at battlecorncarepackages.com. Okay. Now the shitty situation is, would you rather get, <laughs> sorry, get caught jerking off at a red light or get randomly woken up by an air horn at random dates and random times? Wouldn't it be fucked up if you got caught jerking off playing red light, green light? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you're like, red, red light, light, green, green light. light. <laughs> Absolutely. 
That's got to be the best red light, green light oh game my ever. Oh, God. As long as you're all over 18. And you don't get caught. <laughs> yeah. And you don't get caught. How has that not been a porno? That's had to have been a porno movie. It had to have been. I think like a comedy spoof porno would actually be kind of funny with that. That uh, would be like a squid game porno is what yeah, that would be. Yeah, 100%. Have That'd you be seen great. squid game? I have. Okay, I wasn't going to tell you about it. If I, you I, I, I have. I, I <laughs> you got to watch it, dude. <laughs> oh. Nah, I, 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 have, I know what it is. I've seen snippets and shit like that, but I, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to read fucking closed captions the entire time. I just watched show. dubbed. Yeah, I, I do the dubbed. I'm out. Yeah. I still don't want it. I, did, I had a joke about it from the movie uh, or from the show Dark because it's voice dubs also. But the voices, what the voice is saying and what the subtitles say are both translations, but they're never identical. That's the way Squid Game was. Too, so right? like the voice Jeez. will be like, Dad, come in here. And the words on the screen will be like, Papa, come to me. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just tell that like the company that made the movie was like, all right, we need to find a German translator for the voices. And oh, then the God. guy doing subtitles is like, well, we need a German translator too. And they're like, get him one also. <laughs> and they just got two guys going, you know, it just means like. <laughs> it's the most proper pronunciation of everything uh-huh. yeah exactly all right so what would you rather do would you rather get get caught jerking off at a yep. red light or yep. get woken up by an air horn nope. at random dates and times dude i'll get ca- caught jerking off every day <laughs> oh, <yeah? laughs> i don't care yeah as if as long as it's the same person that catches me every day oh but if it's a different person after three people they're like you <laughs> and i'm like i just hate air horns <laughs> you're fucking you're fucking truman showed getting jerking off uh-huh. <laughs> No, oh, I just, I, my question when he first asked me that was who is catching me? Yeah. Because if it's just a security guard or a random person, then I'm like, oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm a perv. Bye. Never see you again. <laughs> but if it's like a, you know, a, a church van of people that I know or something like that, then I'm like, all right, fine. Blow a fucking air horn every once in a while. Yeah. It's the red light at an intersection of an elementary school building. And there's a bunch of kids crossing the street and see you jerking off. Yeah. I don't want that at all. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, check me out on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> it, no, it's at Mike Baldwin. Oh, <laughs> shit. Why am I still coming? Oh, God. <laughs> 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 that's like uh what is that uh what a uh, grandma's yeah. boy oh, oh god i can't, I can't stop I can't coming stop i'm coming. so sorry i'm so sorry <laughs> uh, uh, such funny. an underrated movie that's one of my god. favorite movies dude if you like time. grandma's boy mcgruber dude <laughs> it's like the macgyver knockoff oh no so he does like terrible macgyver things you're doing the oh you gotta see you it. gotta see <laughs> mcgruber dude you gotta see it there's uh, a great scene that uh, eh, I'm not even, I won't do it justice. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, no, I'm getting woken up by an air horn uh, at random dates and times, I, especially with me having trouble sleeping all the time. I'm probably going to be awake already at the time. Now, the thing is, is, is whoever's doing the air horns going to piss my wife off. And uh, she's meaner than I am. But the other thing is, is if you watch The Office whenever you go to bed, you get woken up every 22 minutes whenever that fucking song comes on. Uh-huh. Because that song is 10 times louder than the actual show itself. So when the show gets over, it's all nice and quiet. And then <laughs> it's like, fuck. So, yeah, uh, I'm doing the air horn. Derek? I'm doing the air horn all day. Yep. Yeah, that's not going to put me on a list. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Where? It will put me on a list because I'm going to fucking hurt <laughs> <laughs> whoever's air horning me. <laughs> yep. Yeah, My- I will I will not end up on it. You can get on the sex offender list for peeing in public. Yeah, I know like, you can. Yeah, I am not. I uh, almost got on it. I think I've told that story, too. <laughs> I think you have. That's so that's so bullshit though. It really That really, really is. If you get if you get arrested for public indecency because you took a piss in a bush trying to conceal yourself and they put you on the sex offender list for that shit, that's that's crap, man. I, that, I think it's a different list though. <laughs> I think there's more than one is it? sex offender list. I don't know. I don't know if you can differentiate those if you guys. Go, if you go door to door and you're like, I am on the sex offenders registry, but <laughs> <laughs> it's I, like the best reason to be on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flying first class for the sex yeah. offenders. Trust me. I don't want to fuck your kid, but when I got to pee, <laughs> gotta pee. if Around he's me. outside, I'm going to pee in front of him. <laughs> Cause when I got to go, I got to go. <laughs> then we'll get a subway sandwich. Uh, it's like, what was it? Fucking, uh, I'm just peeing. Yeah, I'm just peeing too. <laughs> uh, 
meet the parents whenever they find him fucking the, they're at the truck stop. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. Uh, I, I can't, it's I, been I too remember. long. It's with Chris Elliott. Oh, from Home shit. Alone? Yeah, uh, no, that was oh. Daniel Stern. I think. Ah, how did I get those guys mixed up? No I idea. All right. All right. But anyways, well. guys, that is this week's episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Uh, again, uh, do us a favor and follow us. I know that these guys probably have shows coming up, so if you want to plug your shows, go ahead. Uh, I'll be at uh, Bainbridge Performing Arts in uh, Bain on Bainbridge Island in Washington State on Friday. On Saturday, I'll be at the Vashon the Vashon Theater and on Vashon Island in Washington. These are all like right outside of Seattle. You gotta drive your car onto a ferry, and the ferry crosses the water. Fuck it's, yeah, it's pretty neat. And then on Sunday, I'm doing a thing at I think it's called Club Comedy in Seattle. It's like a new club up on Capitol Hill or whatever. And yeah. If you, it, it seems so random to me that somebody's going to be watching this and be like, "I think I'm going to go to that show, dude." You'd but be surprised. I, I really hope that people show up to these things and mention that they saw me on this. Absolutely. That would be, but don't yell it while I'm on stage yeah. like a dipshit. Yeah, <laughs> just wear your light up shoes. <laughs> yeah. right. I'll, I'll know by your shoes. <laughs> but. And do the headstand whenever he's getting red lighted. <laughs> How about you, Derek? Uh, yeah, April 15th, I will be at Memorial Hall in Hutch. Yep. Hutchinson, Kansas, with uh, Steve Peters and Jeremy Rush and Joe Ooh. Wilk. Wow, yeah. nice. So, That'll be a good show. That should yeah, be. I saw some other comic posted a thing from there, and it looks like a good room. It's a big room, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a good size. Well, Steve Peters and Jeremy Rush will be a good show. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I mean, that sucks that you got to yeah, be there. You got to be there. I know. <laughs> eh, you know, maybe they'll put you up first and then the audience can forget about you. <laughs> I'm headlining. You're like, nope, You're main guy. Yeah, That's headlining. awesome. Uh, well, shit, guys. Thank you guys so very much. Uh, again, do us a favor. Go and find or uh, find. Follow. My, well, find and follow uh, Mike on Twitter. What's your Twitter handle? Oh, at Mike Baldwin. But there. don't worry about me. Follow uh, L O T sidelines there you go. on Twitter. There you go. It just you can't put laughing on the sidelines on there. It's too long. The there. Elon's working on it. Okay, he's right. working on giving you longer names. Nice. But yeah, it, okay. just remember laughing on the yeah. But then just the letters. Yes, yeah. lots <laughs> sidelines. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so very much. I know TikTok is being kind of a bitch right now. They're kind of holding us our stuff back. Like it's not going as far as we really would like. And uh, to help with that, all you got to do is like, share, and comment. That helps us out a lot. Um, but uh, from the bottom of our hearts, guys, thank you guys, all of you. We really do appreciate it. And do us a favor, guys. If you like mm-hmm. us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us. Uh, we hope you try to channel your inner Bugs Bunny and dig a hole to China. But then you hit an electric line, and that's ball game. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Call before you dig. <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care.